I got up last night to go to the bathroom and take muffin out and it was the wind was not as bad and there were some cars here last night no truckers or anything like that which is a good thing I guess some employees decided to stay here because the weather was so bad so they stayed here the cars were parked there you know, it felt good that at least there were other people here but i was the only one that was pretty much way out here i should have moved closer to the store but i didn't because i really didn't think it was going to be too bad after a while the wind started dying out they come every once in a while you see some gusts But I was good where I am. So right now, it's, I'm trying to take the edge off. It's kind of cold in here. So I have the Mr. Buddy on. And uh, I want to move from here because I've been here all day since early yesterday. This is a tip that I learned by living on this lifestyle. These metal doors. Right now, I can feel a draft coming through here. So probably if I was going to live in the cold weather, I'd have to weatherproof this. Since I'm, only, I'm not gonna really going to weatherproof this because I don't really need to. I mean, I'm not going to be living up here. I'm going to be moving south. So what I do at night to avoid this draft coming in here is I open my bathroom door. I leave it open. It keeps the draft from coming straight in the RV. Also, my weatherproofing covers for the vents also help a lot. And I have one in the bathroom as well. And that is also been something that I don't usually use, but I do keep them in my RV. And that has helped. I need a question answered from you all. I noticed that my fridge, I never keep it on low because I'm always in Florida and it's and it's really hot there. So I want to know if you use less propane when you're in the colder weather. I have been on like this small amount of propane on that one tank that I haven't filled. And it's been going and going. I have it on a four. So I usually always keep my refrigerator on a nine when I'm in Florida. Now I have it on four and it's doing fine because I usually in my refrigerator I have it at about 30 degrees and my freezer is usually about 10 to zero, something like that. I want to know if you use less propane during the cold weather because the condenser doesn't go on as much as what I'm trying to say because that's a big bonus if that's the truth. So let me know in the comments if you know if that's the case or not. I'm ready to go. I'm just putting my shoes on now. Take everything off the counter. That stays because I have a grip pad here so it doesn't um, come off any of the stuff here doesn't come off all my flowers i put them here in the dish drainer any water for missy on the counter and whatever to frost i'm putting put it in here i put my curtain up i turn on which i'm going to do last minute i'm going to turn on my backup camera for the truck i take my garbage with me i just sprayed some air freshener in there and muffins water i make sure that the shower cap is over the rim so if water spills it's going to spill into the cap so i make sure that's done i check the propane make sure all of this is off i mean i'm going to shut the propane up i turn off the refrigerator there's nothing up here um that's going to fall off so i check everything because usually i keep things here at night but i make sure there's nothing here make sure there's nothing hanging here that could fall okay the heater goes in the bathroom and everything that's on the counter here i put it in the sink and that's it that's all i do this is where i spent the night here all alone back here these people were nice they left only like maybe two lights on in the front but they left my light on which was really nice them. thank you so much for being so hospitable and letting me park here and not bothering me and leaving a light on for me that was so nice of them there were a couple of cars parked over there not sure if there were employees or maybe people who live in their cars this building was blocking the winds i know that every once in a while you'll get the gusts coming the other way but for the most part it was a safe night here because this building blocked our wind so it was not too bad from some of the comments that i've read in the past from the several storms that i've been in that if you're ever in a wind gust like this and you're in a high vehicle always park as close to the building as possible because the, the building is going to shelter you. I was afraid of this stuff blowing into my RV. So that's why I stayed where I was. This is all kind of chained down, but this is here and this could blow away. Um, and I was parked 
pretty much over there where that Jeep, that black Jeep is over there, if you see it. I was parked over there. I was, I was on, on this side of the light. And it was nice that they left that light on for me. That was so super special that they did that. Because oh, they turned every single it's light off feet. back Turn there. Right on and that Dallas one light, Road. they left then that off for me. This morning when I woke up, I did see a couple of cars parked over here. So I don't Turn know if people right on Town Square Road. maybe then pulled in at some right. point of the night. They got scared of driving and they just pulled their cars over and just slept in the car. And they don't want to deal with the weather. There were times I was scared. I was wondering if I did the right thing, if I could move. If I should move, you know, and then I remember, okay, I've been through the storm in Colorado, which is pretty much the worst that I've been through. I've been through that tropical storm in Georgia with Christian. That was pretty scary because the winds didn't stop for a lot of hours and it howled and I had my kid with me. So that's even harder when you have your kid and you're responsible for their life. You know, for me, I'm still responsible for the life of my pets. I was just questioning myself, like, you know, did I go to the right place? This, you know, this Lowe's is pretty empty. Everybody pretty much left. There's no truckers around. You want to be in a place where there's other people and you don't want to be alone. And then I questioned myself about being near the light post. I questioned myself about being near the tree. It's a little tree. It wasn't a big tree. I questioned myself a lot and that's going to happen. But you just have to go with your instinct. Just know that it's okay to question your choices in a moment like that especially when you're scared and fear starts to come over you you know just make sure though that you do keep up with a good weather app you know what's going on you know what the gusts are going to be you know what you can handle and if not then you should have gone to an rv park in the first place because at least there you have other people with you anyway i just want you to know that questioning yourself downing yourself is part of this lifestyle it's going to happen a lot you're just gonna have to deal with it and you, this is the kind of stuff that that gives you a sense of intuition when you have so many choices you're like should I do this should I do that and like 20 things come into your head and you just don't In know three what to quarters do. of a mile you Turn don't left pull at the US first stop. drop kind of like it's this thing that over, that comes over you that that says stop I mean it's not a voice that you hear it's it's something internal that tells you stop and you raise yourself up from all of these little voices that are trying to haunt you and you say, wait a minute, I am this and I feel, and you, and you go from within, what is your intuition? Whoa, 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 man, that, that was bad, pothole there, holy crap, I didn't look that bad, but holy crap, that was bad, man, this, this road is pretty cool. Yep, this 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 is really bad here this road but you're not gonna see it now but whatever I just want you to know that that you're gonna go through those questions and you have to go from within your gut and and start to develop that sense of intuition that a lot of you don't have because you live in like these really nice neighborhoods and nothing bad ever happens and then you don't go through these things start to develop an intuition and a sense for people's um, intentions and for the things that look normal and I wrote a blog post about this so I will link it below keep right. so that you can read about that but you start to develop a sense of what's normal and then all of a sudden your instincts kicking and tell and will tell you this is not normal you need to move from here and that's just the way it is that's how life is it's it's not supernatural it's just awakening the spirit within that is your soul and your intuition is a part of that guidance Remember that big giant pothole that I went through? This is it. The curtains fell off of here. Stuff, my, ja my jacket is in the water. Oh, all of this stuff fell. This is what happens when I hit potholes and big, big things like that. Something fell and my water bottle broke and there was water in there. So now my entire bathroom is soaking, soaking wet and I got to clean this. This is why I can't go like off grid and stuff like that because this stuff happens. All right, so I did some research. I really want to go see Valley Forge. It's not too far from me. It's about 30 minute trip. So I don't want to head south. I want to stay in this area, but I don't want to be here at this Costco because this is, this is on a hill and it's really, really scary up here. I get a lot of gusts and whatever. You can hear that. Pretty good steal. 
so i'm just waiting the next 20 minutes i'm like patiently waiting for the store to open it seems like it's never going to open there's a walmart not too far from valley forge so i'm going to go hunker down for the day there i'm gusting 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 now i'm going to move 17 miles south to the next walmart right near valley forge so i can be there tomorrow early not going to do anything here right now with the tire um, so i just got to keep my eye on the tire on my way up north i noticed this on my tire and determined it could be some type of tire rot it was only on my rear passenger tire so i drove up north being very careful until i made it to new jersey to drive only 55 miles and to stay always on the right lane in case the tire blew out my new jersey friend had told me the tire was fine until the day i went up that scary mountain he had taken another look that morning when we woke up at the ta and told me it was not good i've been pretty lucky so far that i haven't had a blowout considering the dirt roads and potholes i've been put through so i went to costco this day to get a price for new tires i plan to upgrade to off-road capable tires and this costco does not have them in stock besides that the day was pretty windy and i wouldn't have wanted to take the camper off the truck anyway There's a casino over here, and I don't know if you can see it. This is called Valley Forge Casino. Valley Forge is actually that way, but we are going that way to go to the Walmart. So it's not too far from here, that's why I picked it. But the gusts are pretty strong now. You can see those trees. Um, I think I'm just gonna head over there for now and call it a day and get work done. Why are they honking at me? Because it says right turn signal. What are you honking about? What the freak are you honking about? Is it all right turn signal? When in Pennsylvania, you may come across a sign like this. I did my research recently and realized that on this particular type of sign, as long as it doesn't say no turn on red, you can actually make your turn here on red, but you have to make sure there's no oncoming traffic. And that's the reason that many people were honking at me, but I just didn't know that. And this seems to be something that's more of a Pennsylvania type situation than anything else. Trees are blowing pretty hard now. I don't really feel a lot of shake here. So we shall see when I go in the camper. All right, so I've been here a while at the Walmart. The gusts are getting pretty wicked. Um, but I'm taking advantage and cleaning up this mess that I have here. I'm trying to organize this, so I'm rearranging everything here in my closet. I just remember, because I had them stored in that closet over there, I have done a videos on these packable bags that people used in their luggage for traveling. When Christian and I traveled, we used to use these a lot because we had two sets of clothing that we had to bring so we had to make sure everything fit nice and tight i forgot i had these in the closet because i had them under my extra sheets so i just took them out now so i'm getting everything organized according to the season that i'm traveling in and the clothes that i'm going to be wearing a lot of the stuff i'm not going to be wearing right now because anything that's short sleeve is really not something i'm going to wear so i'm going to end up probably putting it in a packable i think it's going to work like that so if you want to get packables i'll link down below the packables that i use 
and uh, you can get them in kits which is really really great all right so here's my soup i finished it off with a touch of cinnamon at the end and once i served it in my bowl i put a little bit of butter a little bit of heavy whipping cream and it finishes it off really really nice and i had put in some of this chicken sausage in there cilantro chicken sausage and it tastes really good nice and homey i missed having some home cooked meals i cooked it so the potatoes i had diced them really small so i cooked it enough that the potatoes i can mash them with the with the wooden spoon against the pot i just went ahead and mashed them so it's kind of chunky i just don't want to get like get a blender or blend it or none of that it's just too much trouble when you're RVing so this is nice for me mm. very very homey okay guys thanks for watching i'm gonna have to drink it with my iced tea see you tomorrow tomorrow we're going to belly forge and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell